The more a woman weighs, the greater her risk of ovarian cancer. That's according to a new report from the American Institute for Cancer Research. To talk about this this morning is Dr. Soyla Almeida, a gynecological surgeon who specializes in oncology with the West Boca Medical Center. To talk more about what all of this means, another study that I think can uh, scare women because, number one, obese, or ovarian cancer is such a deadly cancer, and it's a silent cancer, isn't it? It is. Ovarian cancer presents late. We usually pick it up at stage three. It's very insidious, and it presents with very vague symptoms. So when we talk about body fat, is it slightly overweight or is it obese? So by definition, it's body mass index of 30 or greater. And there is a calculation that you can do that um, basically calculates your weight and height. But there are many, many other risk factors, and there's other factors at play within obesity. Now, you know, for a society, I mean, I wonder how disturbing this is to you when we're in a society where we talk about obesity being such an epidemic. How disturbing is this latest report to you? It is very disturbing. We know that obesity is linked to many cancers, such as breast, uterine or endometrial cancer, um, prostate cancer, colon cancer, etc. So it's not limited to ovarian cancer, but because ovarian is so difficult to detect, I would imagine it's a greater concern. It is a great concern. So what are some other things that a woman can do to cut the risks? So I believe the number one way to cut your risk for ovarian cancer is to know your family history. We do know that there are genetic mutations that predispose you to ovarian and or breast cancer. Knowing your family history is not only on your maternal side, but also your paternal side. So if there is a history of ovarian cancer or breast cancer in your family, particularly before age 50, then you are at risk for genetic mutation. All right, and there's a test for this, is there not? Yes, it is called the BRCA test, BRCA testing. It is a genetic testing, very easy to do, saliva or blood. And there's also um, another test called HNPCC or Lynch syndrome. Those patients can also be at risk for ovarian cancer. So knowing your family history is very, very key. So you might not be able to remember all these tests at home right now, but you do want to talk to your gynecologic, uh, your surgeon or your doctor, your OBGYN, about the tests that could be done to detect any of these if you have a family history. Correct. Um, we have a bigger population, too, down here that might be predisposed to some of these mutations, correct? We do. We see a higher um, incidence of these mutations in our Jewish population, Ashkenazi, Jewish descent. And interesting enough, we're seeing it in the Bahamian um, population as well. And once you are diagnosed with this mutation, there are several things that you can do to prevent and drastically reduce your risk for cancer. The takeaway with this is? Get, know your family history and diet and exercise still remain paramount. Know your family history and have an active role and uh, you can do surgery to remove those ovaries at West Boca Medical Center. We are now doing a single incision robotic surgery, the first in the county. Great. Well, let that be the last, the last word, but we know you're always making advances in these things. Thank you so much, Dr. Almeida, for being with us. Thank you. Back to the anchor desk.